now we are starting to discuss the updated controls that have been added in 27002 the new edition which has come in 2022 so the first control that i wanted to discuss about was a.5.7 threat intelligence so before understanding threat intelligence first of all let us try to understand what is a threat a threat is nothing but a risk that is related to the confidentiality integrity and availability of information used in any organization guys threat can be any type okay man-made threat natural threat threats can be of any type fire floods malware attack okay phishing all these are different types of threats that any organization can face okay now what is threat intelligence is the next question now so threat intelligence is the process of gathering analyzing and contextualizing information about current and future cyber attacks so that organization can understand what will be the impact of these threats okay so you gather you analyze and then you contextualize about the current threats and the future threats so that's where a.5.7 plays its role with the purpose is to ensure that organizations are aware aware of what aware of their threat environment what kind of threats are they facing so that they can put in place a mechanism for what for collecting and analyzing these threats and determining the proper mitigation actions that can be taken to protect the information security so what does this control require this control requires to gather information about threats and analyze them in order to take appropriate mitigation actions as simple as that this information could be about particular attacks could be about methods could be about technologies could be about attackers could be about attack trends as well okay what you have to do you have to gather this information internally as well as if you have any external sources like your vendor reports your government agency announcements public announcements etc then also you can gather this information what all documentation can be done again not mandatory because might not be applicable to every company so related documentation in this case could be if you are following this control you might have to add in you want to add supplier security policy now why why would you do that you can add this control in the supplier security policy so that any information about the threats if the supplier is facing if your partners are facing if your vendors are facing then they can communicate and how will they communicate who will communicate etc can be defined in the supplier security policy as far as this control is concerned after that you can have incident management procedure under incident management procedure you can define how the information about the threat is communicated internally inside the organization who will be doing that what will be the process that you can define in the incident management procedure under security operating procedures you can simply define a method where you can mention you know the roles and responsibility of who will be gathering and processing information about the threats as well as the process of how the gathering and processing of information will happen will you be relying on certain tools for this to happen or would somebody be doing this as a manual exercise so today we discuss in this video about 8.5.7 threat intelligence which is one of the first revised controls that we have just discussed in this call and uh, we have seen about 
security threats. We have seen about threat intelligence. We have seen the purpose of this control. We have seen the responsibility that an organization has to go for if you want to follow this control. And we have also seen the related documentation, although non -mandate, not mandatory, but if you are following this control, then you have to add in these procedures. So in the next video, we will discuss about A.5.23, which is information security for use of cloud services. And this one will be very important because here we will be talking about the cloud services, guys. So thank you so much for watching, for staying tuned. And feel free to subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends. Thank you so much for watching.